What's cracking? Today's video is gonna be another one of those transformation videos because I was having an identity crisis the other day and I really need to like satisfy it, I guess. That sounds really, really weird. But before I get started with this video, this video is sponsored. Thank you. Thank you. This video is sponsored by an app that I wish I found a really long time ago called 21 Buttons. Basically, what 21 Buttons is in a nutshell, you can upload your photos and put little buttons on each like clothing piece that you're wearing and tag them with the link so that if someone looked at your picture and was like, huh, I wonder where that shirt's from, they can just click on the button and go right to the link and buy it if they want. You can also actually make money from doing that. You don't have to be like an influencer or anything. You can just, you know, I almost said be normal as if influencers are extremely normal. Literally one of my biggest pet peeves ever is when you find like a super cute outfit just somewhere online and you just have no idea where the clothing is from. Along with like posting your own outfits and stuff, this app is actually really good for getting fashion inspiration. I've been super into fashion recently and just trying to like piece together outfits and just stuff like that. I've been spending a lot of time on there. I actually have my own profile. It's just called Avery Ovard if you wanna go follow it. I have like over 10 posts up right now. So if you guys like my style and you wanna go see what I wear and where all my stuff is from, go check it out and follow me if you want because I'm gonna keep posting on there because I actually really, really like the content concept of this app. So I'm gonna have a link down below if you guys want to go download the app. It's called 21 Buttons, super great, super awesome, really, really good. Thank you to 21 Buttons for sponsoring, love y'all. So now moving on to the actual video. <laughs> On to the actual transformation. I kind of want to talk about why I wanted to do this. Um, if y'all saw like my sugar baby one, I had such a good time making that video and it's like one of my favorite videos ever and I just thought it was so fun. And really, as I mentioned before, I have so many just like different, I don't even know how to explain it. I just have so many different ways that I want to dress and it's almost like overwhelming. So even if I just do it for like a video, I like feel satisfied because as I've said, I'm like so indecisive when it comes to clothing and how I want to dress and my style and stuff like that. So these videos, literally are perfect for me. I had this weird epiphany like a week ago and I was just like literally sitting doing nothing and I was like, oh my gosh, I wanna dress like a skater boy. Then I had the idea to turn it into an actual video. So I went all out for this video. I have a perfect outfit. I have some good accessories. I'm gonna nail it. I know I'm going to. Outfit time, I have to pee, so hold on. Outfit time. So first things first, shirts. I like the double layer shirts. For the first like underneath shirt, I have this. Why, why does that keep happening? Look, it has Isabel on it. This is literally the most perfect shirt because it's not like super tight, but it's not too baggy. So it's like perfect. And it has Isabel on it. Shirt number two belongs to an actual scare boy. So I know this is perfect. Yep. Guys, <laughs> I already look like a scare boy. Just from like right here. So for pants, I kind of had to make do with what I already had. I have these pants that I got a really long time ago, but they're low rise. And so like they fit me kind of weird. The shirt covers it so you can't really see. So like, it's fine. Next thing is socks. Um, I have these socks. These are my brothers, but like, I kind of want to see if he has Nike ones. Found the Nike socks I want, everyone. Everyone relax. Just broke my tripod trying to move my camera, so yeehaw. Okay, these pants are doing me so dirty. They're just on the weirdest part of my waist. These socks are so weird, what? Final step, Vans, baby. Vans, as we know, are the most like skater boy shoe that you could possibly have. I don't really know about these ones necessarily, but like they'll do the job. Complete, baby. I literally can't button these because they're hurting me. We got the shirts, we got the pants, we got the shoes. We got the Nike socks. Next thing, y'all already know. <laughs> wait, okay, wait. I'm gonna pull my hair back a little bit. Oh, you know what I'm also gonna do? Oh wait, okay, hold on. So now that the outfit's on, it's time for hair. So I feel like every single skater boy has their hair parted down the middle. And my hair actually works pretty good for this because I have my bangs. If I put the rest of my hair up and just leave my bangs down, it kind of looks like I could have short hair. And then just put a ton of product in it. I feel like I can hear a frog, like, Let's try this again. <laughs> Perfect. 
Okay, wait, that looks kind of good for what I'm going for. Okay, I think I nailed that, I think. I just want it to look really messy, you know? Like I've just been out there shredding for like hours. Hair? complete. Next, I'm gonna put on just a tiny bit of makeup. Um, I really, really want, like, the I haven't slept in three days look, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of eyeshadow, like, around my eyes. I'm gonna do, like, a little bit of bronzer, too. Just while I'm making this video, I just wanted to say, if I, I, like, ever do more of these, or even, like, this one or my last one, I'm never trying to make fun of the people that I'm, like, turning into. It's just for fun, and I genuinely have a good time doing it, and I most likely am turning into that thing, because at one point, I, like, wanted to, like, look like that. Not saying I wanted to be a sugar baby, because, like, that's very legal, but, like, I wanted to have the look, you know? Don't take what I'm doing too seriously, because it's all in good fun, and I genuinely have fun doing it. Next, eyebrows. I'm gonna make my eyebrows look very untamed, if you will, because I just want to have that messy look. People who don't like when I spike my eyebrows up are really not gonna like this look. Sorry. To make them look a little bit thicker, I'm gonna use some just other like brow gel stuff that actually has color in it. Oh! <gasps> that had so much! I'm gonna go for a little bit of like a blockier eyebrow just so they look really really full. But I definitely messed that one up. Ah! Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> okay, how's she looking? Does she look like she skates? Be honest. Hair is done, makeup's done. Next thing I wanted to do is accessories. Y'all already know I went full out for this video. Accessory time. First things first, I have some like actual jewelry. So I have a lot of rings that I got in Salt Lake that are pretty, that are pretty edgy, that are pretty edgy. So I feel like skater boys are really big on rings. Yeah, yeah. Next thing, y'all already know I got them chains. I got these off Amazon for literally like $3 and it looks exactly like the one that my skater boyfriend actually has. Oh my god! <laughs> this is actually like coming to life and it's so weird. Okay, next thing I got, I don't know if this is offensive, but I got a cross necklace. If this is offensive, I'm not trying to disrespect any religion in any way, but it's just what I felt like fit the look. Okay, I feel like I need to tuck that one in there yeah yeah okay <laughs> the next thing i got i got some tattoos i really really wanted to do like a face tattoo oh well, i'll do a finger tattoo <gasps> do these like little tattoos remind anyone else like of the dentist because like i feel like the dentist used to give these to me as a child all the time but like obviously not cross ones but like you know Okay, maybe I'll do one more. Wait, that's so funny! Oh my god! Wait, these actually apply really fast. Wow. Oh my- Okay, I feel like I should do one, like, on the middle finger now, because I have, like, the two on this one. Okay. Oh my god, this is so funny! Oh, they're already cracking. No! The next thing I got for accessories are fake nose rings. Should I do the black one or the silver one? I feel like I should do the silver one. I have never wanted a nose ring ever, um, so when I, like, put this on and saw what it looked like, I was like, yeah, this is just confirmation because it looks so bad on me. Props to anyone who can pull off a nose ring because lord knows I cannot. Oh my god! So the next and final accessory I have, black nail polish. Of course, y'all already know what's going down. Skater boys are just notorious for painting their nails black. Um, I love it, actually. I think it's a great way for guys to show that, like, their masculinity is not, like, fragile enough to the point where they, like, can't wear nail polish because that's dumb and nail polish is for everyone, not just for girls. The thing with skater boys and how they paint their nails is they can't. It always looks really bad and very poorly done. And honestly, I suck at painting nails. That's why I never do it. And that's why I always get my nails done because I can't do it no matter how hard I try. Like in elementary school, when all my friends were like painting their nails, these cute little designs with like all the cool little accessories, I wasn't doing that because I couldn't. I wasn't talented enough and nothing has changed. Honestly, I'm not good at this, but I'm like trying to do it pretty sloppy because that's how guys do it. It's definitely not gonna look like I just spent like $40 on a manicure. <laughs> oh frick! Oh! Ooh! I just got it everywhere! Oh it came off, it's okay. This is like a funny ironic thing for me to like dress up as because if you don't know I have like a really weird but like very serious fear of skateboards. I'm scared of breaking my kneecaps. There I said it. You could be trying to do a kickflip and do one wrong move and bam you land right on your knees and your kneecaps are shattered. Oh my god. If this is like giving you anxiety to watch me paint my nails so poorly it gives me anxiety too and I apologize. <laughs> it looks so bad. Okay I'm gonna let these dry for a second and then I'll come back with the final look. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs>
I'm literally terrified. I'm not kidding. Let's skate, bro. <laughs> yeah, show, 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 show her what to do. <laughs> Here, look. Whoa. <laughs> Okay. I don't want to get like a splinter or like break my finger. <laughs> 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 